of Mimi and the art of letting go. When you're using the laws of mind and you're trying to manifest, you know, consciously, one of the things that trips you up is you're doing this consciously. <laughs> so, you know, it was easier when you, you unconsciously did it because you just do a little bit of something in your head and let it go and then it would show up and you would deny that, you know, you even thought of it and you let it go that well. <laughs> it was just a little daydream that made you feel better. Oh, here we have this. Yeah. And you didn't realize you were, you know, removing yourself from the situation and going to silence and thinking about something that made you feel better. And then you just dropped it. You know, there's no ceremony about it. That's just what you did. You know, we all do it. Neville Goddard gave a great example of the girl on the trolley, and it's Christmas time, and her father had just passed, and she was alone for the holidays, and it was cold, and it was raining, and she started crying, and she, you know, took a deep breath and looked outside and said, No, this is not, I'm not on a trolley car. You know, and it's not cold. It, it's really warm. And I feel the sun on my face. And those aren't cold raindrops. That's the warm sea spray, you know, hitting my face. And it's just wonderful. You know, and it made herself feel a little better for a minute. And then she had to get off and she went and lived life. And three months later, she's on an ocean liner entering the Indian Ocean, headed towards Ceylon. <laughs> so, you know, how do you do this naturally? Everybody does. It's the letting go part that, you know, really trips people up. Because they think they have to persist in imagining and that uh, feeling of the wish fulfilled. But the feeling of the wish fulfilled is happy and content. You're in heaven. You have it. You have it. You're happy. You're content. You don't think about it. You have it. You're happy and content. Okay? And you just go be happy and content. And if it, the desire comes up, you know, it's, oh, I know I slept at the last night. It's all good. Or, no, I know there's X in the bank, it's all good, you know, or whatever it is, uh, or I know it'll, sh I'll see it when I see it, I'll see it when I see it, life is great, life is good, always, you know, or this is where that old time religion comes in, you know, you, you just, oh, I know I'll see it when I see it, amen. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Whatever you want to get into. You know, that uh, uh, Justin Timberlake song, you know, Can't Stop That Feeling. I love that. I go to that a lot. And it's like my old time religion, you know. And the song Power of Love. You know, it's the power of them. And another one is Walk This Way. Ted Nugent's Walk This Way. I love them. Walk this way. Talk this way. Walk this way. Talk this way. Just give me a kiss. <laughs> it's how do you take your mind away from it and keep it happy and content? And the words are what evoke your imagination. So it's like, no, 
I know it's all perfectly fine. <laughs> Don't even go there. No, 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 no. I didn't even think that. I thought, da, 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 da. You know, and replace it with what you wanted, and then da 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 da. It's all the stuff that in your life that you've come to love. So it doesn't matter what the music is, you know. And if it starts tucking out and you start, you know, boot dancing in the chair, you know, get up and start really dancing, you know, and you just feel good, you know. That's by yourself, that's by yourself, you know, but really, it's a great idea to dance like, you know, nobody's there all the time. You get into it, it doesn't matter how silly it is. How you came for the dancing? <laughs> We're terrible! That is embarrassing! <laughs> That's it! That's good! Keep it loose! <laughs> so I hope this helps. It's true power and it's been written in many, many, many of the ancient texts, the Bible is constantly referring to a spinning and a swirling and rain. And a drop of water will break rock. And that's what it's referring to, the impulses of rain, impulses of fire, which, you know, are these rockets being shot off. And you just, you know, are consistently doing it as if you have it. You know, oh, I know I have, you know, X in the bank. It's all good. Life is sweet. God is good. God is good. You know, I remember when. And go into that. You know, and it becomes natural. So, one, the Bible emphasizes this over and over. If it's not natural, it ain't happening. You know, and no God or emphasize this as well. You keep doing it until it becomes natural. You know, like an actor will get a script and at first when he first reads the script, he's just reading the script. But over time he comes to know the character and starts playing the character and it starts coming trippingly off the tongue. And now it's natural. You know, so it's it's about it's natural. I'm just that. <laughs> and it's all good. You're never to worry about what others think or say or do that's inviting trouble. Get out of there. Erase that thought and replace that thought. You know, and remember what you resist persists. If you're seeing things you don't like, you're resisting something. And that's a signal to you to go within and figure it out. And, you know, many times you just can't. It's a tangled web. Okay, so you just hand it over. You, you just, you know, have a moment of silence. Go have a cigarette. Take a drag. Blow it out. You know, take a deep breath. If you don't smoke, go, just go out there. Have a cup of tea. Take a sip. <sighs> You know, you know, Father, I'm handing this problem over to my sweet, sweet Jesus, my sweet imagination, the human imagination. I don't know how to fix it. You know, I don't care. But bless him. I know he's better than that. I forgive him for showing me that. I know he's not like that. You know, if it's somebody who's really, you know, yanking your chain. And God changes how you see it. I think this is what people get tripped up about. And you see the change on the outside, okay? But God is changing how you see it. And this is why forgiveness is key, especially with special persons. Otherwise, you're dragging the same consciousness back into your life, and it becomes worse. And that's why I call it that a pet cemetery situation. Because you're forcing somebody to be with you who doesn't want to be your bully or your victim. And so they back off, you know, or they come at you even more. 
So the art of letting go means you go ahead and just accept your desire in a way that you always talk to yourself. And then, you know, you, you work on how you see life, you know, and that's what changes everything. And God will do it for you. He couldn't have made it easier for man. He really couldn't. Okay? And you just trust in God. And the whole point of all this caca is all these people are, are trapping themselves in traps that they think they can't get out of. That it's impossible. You know? That no one's going to love them ever. You know? And all this other stuff. And that's not true. Okay? None of that's true. It's all a story. Don't buy somebody's story. Listen, you think okay. you're over something, you think you're ready to get on with your life, this is how you really find out if you're over something or not. If you get an opportunity to get even with somebody that did you wrong, and you don't take it, then you're over it. But if you don't, and you beat the hell out of them, you ain't over it yet. There's, you know, perceptions and emotions and their feelings tied up into it now you're getting dragged into their vibration and then you've joined their story uh, 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 uh. back off step back get sure I got that vibration back off look at it kick your vibration back up because it's been suppressed by another that's where that anger frustration comes from and understand your emotions are rocket launchers. They're not good or bad. And you use them no matter what they are. Anger, frustration, sadness, happiness, whatever. Okay? You use it to launch your rocket off. And you make sure your rockets are based on love. Okay? And then it all works out perfectly. If you don't, then it just comes right back and bites your ass. You what? <laughs> so I hope this helps. Letting go is important because if you had it, you wouldn't be thinking about it. So if you're thinking about it, no, you don't have it. And you're basically saying, I don't have this yet. And they're like, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, you want it now? <laughs> they, they can't bring it to you, let go. Okay, when you let go, it's like, oh, yeah, we can take it to it now. Yeah. So I hope this helps. Blessings to you. And thank you. Thank you for being you. Jordan, where John was baptized in, and saving all sinners, see him at the seaside, talking with the fishermen, and making them disciples, marching in Jerusalem, over palm branches, in Palm Friends Landor See him in the garden Praying to his father In deep and